So with that being said, yeah, anything over fifty yeah, million you can live comfortably on I, for I, pretty much the rest of your life. I only need two million, honestly. I know exactly what I would do with it. I'm just saying. I'm gonna buy a nice house in Detroit for five thousand dollars. <laughs> Because that's a real thing. It really is. That's how that's how little people want to live there. I want to buy me a crack house, and then I'm going to lure crackheads into it with promises of free needles and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to set booby traps in there for them. That way, my food comes to me, and I'm going to keep all their drugs. And I'm gonna try to redistribute it back out to the other non-crackheads to get more crackheads. Be like, hey guys, you can come here and get some drugs from me. That way they fall into my pitfall traps and then I can eat them later. And I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a house in Detroit and then I'm gonna set it up with like, you know those air fresheners that are motion sensed? I'm gonna set up a candle in front of them. So when someone walks past it, shoots a jet of flame at him instead. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this thing. You, you, uh, you know, you, maybe, maybe you think you want to open up the front door, but instead of a front door, it's, it's just a pit to the basement. You open it up, you take a step in. That's a welcome mat. Goodbye. You're in the basement now. Maybe you've broken an ankle. No one's coming to help. It's Detroit. The cops don't even go to Detroit, so you're 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 stuck in my house now. All you'd have to do is put enough stuff on the ceiling for it to not make any sound. Over. Oh yeah, man. You you can with enough bodies, no one can hear you anyways. And in Detroit, it's just gonna be another person yelling. So milk jokes. Milk jokes. Milk jokes. You you yeah. Milk jokes. You can muffle sounds. You might as well let it be full milk jugs and then leave the tops open. That way, the smell of rotting milk covers the smell of a rotting body. That way, the whole place just smells like ass. You know what I'm saying? So then you you take the rest of your... Because we only spent $5,000 of the two mil that we have, right? It's Detroit, so you just get a, a bunch of guns. Let's say, let's say you just get fifty thousand dollars in guns, which is quite a few pistols, and then you get some ammo with another fifty k, right? So that's 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 a hundred and five thousand dollars we've used for 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 safety. I'd invest at least a hundred k in guns. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a lot of my stuff. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get professional like landmines set up right outside my house. And I'm gonna I'm gonna every now and then I'm gonna throw one into the street like a frisbee and someone's gonna drive over it thinking it's like a weird piece of trash. Haha, <laughs> trash, I got you, huh? Boom. And then when the police finally figure it out, you'll be sitting there waiting in the garage with a tank. No, not a tank. The Wienermobile. Up armored on the inside so they don't suspect it's armored. I'm gonna have a armored Wienermobile. And it's gonna have a howitzer. That's <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing ever. An up armored Wienermobile. <laughs> And that's how we're going to win the war against ISIS. <laughs> 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 fucking bad. <laughs>